Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. The last thing we want to do is scare anyone, but coronavirus is here and we want you to be prepared and informed. President Trump is scheduled to speak at 3 o'clock today and is expected to declare a national emergency. We just checked with the state of Michigan, and here is where everything stands right now. There are still just 12 confirmed cases, according to the CDC here in Michigan. Here in southeast Michigan, there are two in Washtenaw County, one in St. Clair County, one in Wayne County, and three in Oakland County. The rest of the numbers make up the west side of the state. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge says that one of those people diagnosed has no history of travel. Oakland County health leaders declared a state of emergency at a press conference that just wrapped up and our Sean Lay was there. He joins us now with the very latest with what they had to say. Sean, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Rhonda. A lot of information coming out of this news conference. First and foremost, the county issuing that state of emergency. That means they're opening up a path for federal funds to help fight this coronavirus from spreading here in the county. Also setting up a help hotline here locally, 248-858-1000. That is a help hotline that will go on our website. Click on Detroit.com. You can find it there. Big picture here, Oakland County learning of a couple of new coronavirus cases here just in the early morning hours from midnight on. One is a positive test that they learned about coming from Hillel Day School on Middle Belt Road in Farmington Hills, a private school. That school is informing families that a teacher has tested positive. That teacher does live in Washtenaw County. So listen closely here. The Oakland County Medical Director talked about the challenges that this new positive case presents. We are asking them to monitor for signs and symptoms. You know, we're not sure what kind of contact they had with that individual because, again, if they're in a restaurant, were they sitting in a uh, booth beside them? And so, again, it's this watch for uh, signs and symptoms. If you develop signs and symptoms, then we're asking you to contact your healthcare physician, let them know that you were in one of those locations, and they will provide you the next steps on what they want you to do. We reach out and do a contact investigation with all those folks while they are self-isolating um, at home. Now, the complication, it's not really a complication, we routinely do this cross-jurisdictional kind of investigation. The, um, the, um, this person, the patient, is actually a Washtenaw resident, okay? The exposures occur here. All right, so what both the uh, officials are talking about there is one, if you're in any of the public spaces that the county put out uh, overnight, uh, that they want the public to be aware if you were in one of those spaces and you may have come in contact with someone to self monitor and check your conditions and, you know, be aware of the situation. And then the health director also talking about the teacher uh, at that school in Farmington Hills about how they're handling this now with staff and students going forward as they investigate that case. The county also issuing an executive of order uh, limiting gatherings of 100 or fewer. Rhonda, we just talked to the Oakland County Executive. He's strongly uh, suggesting people do not gather in groups, and we talked about what that may look like. He says they don't want to get law enforcement involved at this point, but they are going to be going around to, say, uh, community groups, churches, restaurants, bars to say no big gatherings at this time at all. That is the very latest from uh, what we learned at this Oakland County News Conference. Uh, Rhonda, back to you. It is certainly a new way of life for everyone, but definitely the precautions make a whole lot of sense. All right, Sean, thank you. Just into our local four newsroom, Washtenaw County has now revealed possible exposure locations. This means that places where those confirmed with the virus have been to take a look at the locations, and these are times and locations for Monday, March 9th. The first is at Metro Airport around noon. Next, a hair, the hair spot in Ann Arbor on North North Maple Road and 3rd and the Ann Arbor YMCA on North Washington. For more information of other possible exposure locations, we do have a list and another map of other areas in St. Clair and Oakland County and other parts on the western side of the state as well at clickondetroit.com.